The weapon found on our crime scene was stolen from that car in a carjacking just six days before our murder. All right, so we got two cases, two crime scenes, and the same stolen gun connected to both. One ended in death, but the other one is a carjacking that could have gone either way. Yeah, that's a start. Where was the car dumped? On Baker Road. That's around the corner from our murder. Our perp or perps, they're familiar with Northwest Atlanta. That's gonna be the crux and the apex of where our investigation starts. All right, so they dumped the Pontiac, and right after that, they went and jacked the black Acura. Yeah, that's my guess. Where's the Pontiac now? It's in the cage getting processed. So you know what's next, right? Talk to the carjacking victim. Damn, Skippy. We're about to find out. That's right. There's way more to this case than meets the eye. Grab my shirt, put the gun to my face. The city of Atlanta was under attack. Single shot to the head? Yeah. There was no limit to what these suspects would do. I have another ballistic match. Evidence will reveal a deadly connection. This was absolutely worse than we could have ever imagined. I know about that dead kid on the news. When it seems like we're finally closing in on an arrest, we get stonewalled. He's actually clean. Our lead suspect was out of reach. All right, what happened next? He pulled the gun out on him. To this day, I still think about this case. 